Hi everybody, my name is Anne. Thanks for joining me on Art on the Creek. I'm so happy you're here because today, when I'm filming this, it's the last week in April 2023, and the weather forecast this month has been crazy. They have been saying, yes, we'll get snow. No, we're not getting snow. Yes, for sure, we're getting a huge amount of snow and then nothing happens. So uh, my daughter and I decided to take advantage of the sunshine and go out to Daniel's Park and do some plein air. Are you ready? Come on along with us. Let's see what we can discover. Well, here we are. This is Daniel's Park. There's the view to the west and it is absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna zoom in here in just a moment and you can see Mount Evans. That's one of our taller peaks in Colorado and I really like that mountain so I wanted to zoom in. And now here this structure over to the right is where we're going to go paint. Right away the first thing my daughter noticed was this eagle soaring overhead. Pretty sure it's an eagle. The wingspan was really way too big to be a hawk so I'm pretty sure that's an eagle. And here's a little nuthatch that came in to see what we were doing as we sat at the table. Now here's Pikes Peak. That one's all the way to the south. And if I were to continue panning all the way to the north, on a very clear day, you could see the Mummy Range. And that part of the Rocky Mountains touches Wyoming. So we really do have a lot of great views from here. I've got my portable painter out. I've got the micro today that I'm using. And my daughter's using the standard portable painter. The view that I chose is really very simple. I just like this walking path down to the bench with the fence, uh, the ridge off in the distance, and the road on the right. So I thought that would be a good subject for today. I'm using my Tombow water brush and I'm just going to start filling in some details here using a lot of different techniques on this one. The sketchbook that I've got is a uh, handbook. Sorry, it had a little brain freeze there. It's a handbook sketchbook and I really like it. It's uh, not 100% cotton at all. It's cellulose paper. But for plein air, I love the size. I've never had any problems with it. It lifts off beautifully. I have had really no issues with this one at all. So I tend to buy these um, for plein air. I like using a splatter technique for rocks and gravel and it's working just great for this trail here. So let me tell you a little bit about Daniels Park. Denver owns 11,000 11, acres of mountain parks and this is one of their mountain parks. Now these are not in the city limits of Denver per se. I don't know about all of them but uh, most of them I think are just uh, outside of the city. But the city of Denver does maintain them and um, they're free and open to the public and really full of beauty. Red Rocks Amphitheater is one of those mountain parks and that is in Jefferson County. We're just south of that though in uh, Douglas County today and Daniels Park is one of the Denver mountain parks. So it's 1,000 acres. It's along a ridge line and the ridge is formed out of sandstone as is much of the rock in this area. Actually I guess it's not really a cliff it's it's technically a mesa. And when you look down over that mesa, you will see Castle Pines Golf Course. And uh, gosh, if you look uh, from here out to Mount Evans, you can see everything in between. Um, so you'll see Chatfield Reservoir. That's one of the state parks. And uh, you'll also see Roxborough State Park. The portion of the road that I'm working on right now up there at the top where it disappears in the horizon, that region of Daniels Park has a bison herd. My daughter and I didn't drive up in that direction today to see the bison, but we have seen them many times. And uh, typically, if you decide to come over and visit Daniels Park, you will be able to see them as well. There's also a bison herd that you can see if you're interested over at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal. And there's one at about the Genesee exit off of I-70. So quite a few ways to see bison without really having to leave the metro area. We had such a nice day despite the wind and um, I was just really just having a beautiful time relaxing with the sounds of nature. So I don't want to deprive you of that so I'm going to stop the narration here and let you enjoy the sounds of my paintbrush, the sounds of nature, and the sound of the wind a little bit in Daniel's Park today.
Thank you so much for coming along with us today on our little trip to Daniel's Park. You can see the park gets a lot of use, although you still feel like you're kind of the only ones there. I'm just going to pack up here and then we will head back to the car. This was the, uh, the DIY Trapper Keeper system that I made, and it's pretty convenient to have it in the car. So, until next time, Daniel's Park, thanks for the wonderful visit. Hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time.